It's time to work on A7, and A7 is straightforward from the book. Um, the piece that came with it in the bag was one big uh, square for the background. And I took it and I measured and found the center point of each side, and then I actually cut it into squares so that I could make each background piece like that. But there's other options if you want to do that. But I've got my, um, I did, so I cut this one out. That's why it's labeled the way it is. And because I wrote, I wrote stuff and then I cut it apart. Um, and then there's four footballs. There's two of each color and two of each color. And clearly you're going to put opposite colors on each one. Basting squares, straightforward. I do two opposite sides and then the other two opposite sides. With the footballs, I'm going to do a gathering stitch method. Take a gathering stitch and then pull it in and then do another stitch to baste it to the paper. Um, my applique video or my basting your pieces video, I believe, is the one that will show you specifics on this. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get all of my pieces basted so then I can do assembly. So I got all of my pieces basted, now it's a matter of matching them up. So I'm going to take a black square and a yellow football and we're going to put them on the diagonal. Now I don't have a directional fabric at all so I don't need to worry about it but if you do you want to make sure you look at where you want because there's a stripe in the picture in the book and it's kind of like a clockwork thing and I don't know if that was intentional or not. If you want them to go the same way just make sure you pay attention to that as you're assembling. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to line up this point here. Now, these ends, these papers are exactly the same size as the squares. So they're going to go over a little bit, and you should be able to suck some of that up when you applique. But make sure that it's all in the same line. So I am going to feel for where my paper is, because just because this is here, this because this is here, doesn't mean that's where the paper is. So I want to feel around to see exactly where my point is so that's right here. And I'm going to put that point on the corner. I'm going to put that point on the very edge, maybe a little over. And then the other one on the very edge, maybe a little over. I'm going to check it on the back because you've got the points showing. Okay. And then once I'm satisfied, which I'm not yet, so if I place this as best I can, I'm going to hold each end and then I'm going to staple it down so that it holds it in two places. Once you staple it, if you see that it's not lined up right, you can just take, you know, push these up and poke it back through and redo it. But I'm going to do this for all four squares. So I've got all of my footballs connected to the respective squares. Now, when I go to applique, I'm going to start in the corner, in a corner, and line it up exactly, make sure that, that the fabric is pulled completely tight, and work my way around to this edge. So that way you have some room to maneuver. If you need to take out the staple and reposition it as you go, because it's a little off, then that's the, that's the advantage. But you want to start preferably in the center one, because of the fact that these are so close to the edge, if you make sure that the center point is exactly where it needs to be on all four, these are going to line up a lot better when you go to put them together. So I've appliqued all of my footballs on and I've taken out most of the basing. I just have this one left to do. I first take out the staple, I prying it up with the stiletto, and then I push it through and carefully bring it out so it doesn't snag fabric as I pull it out. And then I'm gonna snip the basting and pull it through so I can get this taken care of. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, attach these into pairs. So I've paired them up into rows and I will connect them to finish the block. So I've connected all four squares and now my A7 block has been completed.